In the whimsical world of Maisie Bloom's childhood, the parents were like characters from a storybook. The mother, a spirited botanist, with an affinity for talking to plants, could coax flowers to bloom with a mere whisper. The father, a daring adventurer, enchanted Maisie with tales of far-off lands and mythical creatures. Together, they embarked on magical expeditions, exploring enchanted forests and mystical meadows. Maisie's parents taught her the language of flowers and the secrets hidden within the earth, filling her heart with wonder and curiosity. But one fateful day, during a daring botanical expedition deep in the heart of an uncharted jungle, Maisie's parents vanished without a trace. The new sand ripples of sorrow through the whimsical world Maisie had known, leaving her feeling adrift in a sea of uncertainty. Alone, yet determined, Maisie vowed to carry on her parents' legacy, with a sprig of lavender tucked behind her ear and a satchel filled with seeds from their favoured flowers. She set out on her own adventure. In the quaint town on Henverdon Bagley, Maisie discovered an old cottage nestled among the wildflowers, its walls adorned with ivy, and its windows framed by cascading vines. With a twinkle in her eye and a skip in her step, Maisie knew she had found her new home. Hi everyone, welcome to the Fairies Den. My name is Alice. Today we're going to play the first episode of the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. This is our Legacy heir. Her name is Maisie Bloom and her traits are loves the outdoors, cheerful, clumsy. She's a collector because of her aspiration. If there's something you don't recognize, it's probably from a mod that I have installed. But she's a jester and she is <laughs> innocent. So innocent sims positivity and happiness has the great power to uplift others, but they can appear very childish and their optimistic perspective causes them to be naive. Oh. Okay, Macy. <laughs> These are all randomized, by the way. She's also a jester. Jester sims live for the moments of joy. Humor and silliness, often though, they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. Okay, well that's interesting. Well, I don't know if that really fits her, but this is her personality, so we're just gonna have to do with it. So, the third generation is Generation Daisy. Gardening has always been your passion. Owning a large, healthy garden is all you've ever wanted in life. Even if your nails constantly have sore under them and you have so many broken pots you've lost count. Your happy place is meditating in the shade of the fruit trees that you grew yourself from tiny saplings. You sit and wonder what your family will grow to do and hope that they will flourish just as beautifully as your garden has. This is the start of your family legacy. Her aspiration, as you can see, is the freelance botanist and for the first um, task we'll have to plant something three times and weed or water plants ten times. So that's not going to be very hard, I think, I hope. Her traits, as I said, are clumsy, mostly outdoors and cheerful. We're going to have Maisie join the gardener career and the colors for the generation are white and yellow and as you can see while um, creating Maisie I did my best to give her yellow and white clothes and I don't know if you can see but her makeup is also yellow. This is where we are going to live. Um, I'm not going to spoil the inside yet but it's in a bit of a sorry state but as we get more money I really want to incorporate the colors white and yellow into the home as well and we have to max out three skills as you can see we have one skill charisma and it's level one but we have to max out the skills gardening fishing and wellness so well gardening we're gonna start with and fishing I think with fishing we can make some money first I'm gonna set <laughs> set it to zero simoleons because I want to make things difficult for us. So we have to live on a lot with the simple living trade. We have to grow a cow plant and keep it alive for as long as we live. If it dies, we have to immediately plant a new one. We have to grow five perfect plants. 
I don't think that's actually that hard, but we'll have to see. And we have to marry a sim who also has the loves outdoors trait. The last two points are actually optional, you don't have to do them, but I do want to do them. Is gain the outdoorsy lifestyle and grow a death flower. I've never actually grown a death flower or even had one in my household. So this is our lot. It's looking um, interesting. Oh my god, look, there's a bunny already. Oh, that's so cute. We're definitely going to talk to the bunny. Uh, in a little bit. There's another one. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, so this lot is uh, made by me. <laughs> I made it. Thank you very much. I think it turned out really cute, very much run down, and um, there's some CC that I use like these planks uh, in front of the windows, and um, this is actually custom content as well. And I use some use some debug items. Oh, um, <laughs> don't look at that. We'll um, <laughs> we'll ignore that for now. For now, let's uh, keep the mystery alive. But this is her little cottage. So the story behind the cottage, really, in short, is just um, it's an abandoned cottage. It has great soil, sunny aspect, and it is filthy. There's mold growing, simple living, because that's one of the rules, and there's going to be wild foxes. Okay, so simple living. This lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. It does, it does, but <laughs> it's going to be hard. I don't think I've ever played with the simple living trade, because it's just difficult. <laughs> but let's see. So, yeah, it's a tiny home, so we get those birds. So let's look at the <laughs> inside. Okay, so as we get inside, there's an old couch still here. There's some some uh, remains of the previous uh, house owners. Everything is very dirty, and you can see there's uh, these like mold and a very dirty bathroom. So we have, except for walls and windows we don't have much except for a couch and we do have light so that's not. but the rest is um very dirty now for as long as um macy here is living here you know what let's go inside let's uh, let her check out her home <laughs> yes that's a mod oh no there's a mouse we're gonna place a trap just so she can, uh, <laughs> she doesn't like rats. Okay, but my idea was to treat the house as, well, it's definitely gonna have to be a fixer-upper because she cannot live here. Well, we're gonna go outside again and we're gonna have, let Macy, um, explore a little bit around her house. Let's talk to, oh, <laughs> she's clumsy. She's all, she almost fell. Let's talk to the bunny. Let's see if she's good with animals. So cute. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it doesn't like us. I'm so sorry. Can we just like... Well, we can't gift you anything. Maybe we can ask you about the bramble wood. No? You don't like it? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, she still looks quite happy though, but the bunny doesn't like us. Oh well, we can we can befriend him later. Let's name him. I know a good name. We're gonna name you Grumpy. Okay, so we don't have any money, so we can't plant anything. Let's, you know what, let's go around the world around the neighborhood a little bit. Oh, there's still leaves. It's summer. Maybe we can find a nice fishing spot so we can make some money first so we can buy some plant seeds. Who is this? Let's see. Oh, she's pretty. She's one of the sims I made. This is Corinne Collins. 
She is a Hanford on Bagley resident. She has a quite a big family, but well, we'll get to meet them eventually, I think. But let's get to know her. Uh, get off my property. No, we're gonna be nice. Um, res you know what? No, we're just gonna do a normal interaction. Friendly, friendly interaction. Hello. Hi. We're new here. Well, she seems very nice. Let's, um, I want to get to know her. Oh, I think this is one of her sons. Yes, it is. I believe this is Connor. Yes, this is Connor Collins. Um, this is, um, her second oldest son. Yes. He's really sweet, but we'll meet him later. We're just gonna, uh, get to know Corinne first. We're matching a little bit. Oh, she's in her work up close. Good for you, Corinne. Well, we just moved here to Hanford on Beckley. And, uh, yeah. It's very exciting. But <laughs> we're very happy we get to meet you first because we don't know anyone. Is that a fox? It is. Moon. Oh, she's cheerful. Quite a charisma skill. Reese Collins is her husband. She's cheerful, we have good compatibility, and we're acquaintances. I did download um, the first impressions mod, but it's I don't know if it's not working or if it just needs some more time. But we're gonna say hello to the little fox. Does watching a fox do anything? Let's speed through that a bit, because maybe if we've watched him long enough, we are acquaintances. <laughs> Sing to Moon. I don't think, I don't know if Moon is going to like our singing because we don't have the singing skill yet. Oh no, look, he looks so scared. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Okay, we, well, we acquired the singing skill. That's nice. Okay, but let's start fishing. Well, now that she is going to walk all over here. I guess I'm going to uh, show you the uh, general rules of the challenge. So this challenge requires quite a lot of packs, but there's also a base game version of this challenge. Um, oh, the challenge is actually uh, created by a Sims Garden on Tumblr. I will um, put it on the screen right now or link it down below, either one of those. Okay, so the general rules are for each generation, we have to complete the designated aspiration, the career, and the three skills. As I said, some points are optional. You can choose to complete these to make the challenge more difficult. Oh, hi, Reese. Are you going to join us? Yes. Oh, that's cute. Maybe we can, like, fish together. So we can, like, get to know each other. Oh, look at the creature keeper up there. Hi, Michael. Invite, go fishing. We can ask him to mentor us. Can you help us out? We don't know anything about fishing. We, uh, we already reached level two. Thank you so much, Reese. <laughs> All right. Well, <gasps> uh, there are two colors associated with every generation. Use these for genetics or just close and house decor if you wish. We start each new generation with a small house, apartment, and thousand simoleons. If you want to make the challenge harder, you can start each generation on an empty lot with zero simoleons. So I chose to give her a little abandoned cottage and zero simoleons to make it hard, but not too hard, I guess. <laughs> uh, play on any lifespan if you wish. I'm actually playing on long lifespan for now maybe i change that up maybe i don't we'll see okay so let's see how it's going he's really uh <laughs> teaching as well are we doing well reese Ooh, who's that this is adrian beckett i don't know who you are but you look cute you know what um let's see we have some fish 26 simoleons and 20 simoleons well, we'll go and sell these. Um, well, it's not a lot, so we'll keep fishing for a little bit. 
We're lucky that um, Reese is teaching us. This is so cute, the interactions. I hope. What is that? A gummy gummy? It's a rare one. A deliciously squishy friend for your home. Just don't leave him alone with the catfish. Oh, we have a uh, a sentiment. Macy's sentiments about Reese. Oh, she's impressed with him. We sure know what he's doing and Macy has nothing but respect. Oh, that is so sweet. That is such a sweet sentiment. So we know Kareem, we know Reese, and Moon, and Grumpy. <laughs> For this episode, I want to show you around Hanford and Begley. We're going to visit uh, the center of the town in just a little bit to get to know some more sims. But first, we need to make a little bit of money so she can actually eat something tonight. And maybe we can uh, buy some seeds. Who is this? Oh, sometimes it can glitch out. Oh, it's it started. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. It's going... It's gonna be a thunderstorm. This is also a uh, resident of Hanford on Begley. This is Valentina Barnhart. She's so cute, but we'll meet her. We'll meet her sometime, I'm sure. All right. Well, um, thank you so much. Let's uh, do a friendly introduction, and then we're gonna have to go uh, somewhere else. <laughs> Everyone is freaking out. Oh no. Uh, just gonna go inside. Oh, this is so sad. On our first day, we are running through a thunderstorm. Let's see what our needs are like. She is a bit hungry. You know, let's go to the toilet first. Oh, that is disgusting. So now that it's raining so hard, I think we're gonna go and join a career because we really do need the money. So we can buy a bed and a fridge and all of the things we need to survive. We are going to um, join the gardening career. Gardener. You've always had a green thumb, but now you think you can earn some green with it. You'll start by doing a lot of planting and gardening, but keep at it. And you can find success in the science or art in doing so. Okay, so we're going to start out as a dirt digger. And we'll get 20 simoleons an hour. That doesn't sound too bad. We can decide ourselves if we want to become a botanist or a floral designer. But we'll see when we get there. Okay, Macy is now a dirt digger at Peter's Paddles and Pods Landscaping. She starts Thursday at 8am. Chip Macy Bloom get a jump start and accept the assignment. Purchase garden seeds, of course, of course. I think we can we can do that today. Well, I hope so. Achieve level two gardening skill and purchase garden seeds. Uh, purchase seeds by clicking on a plant box or use the order interaction on a computer. Let's purchase some seeds. I think we're gonna start with either herbs or vegetables. Well, we can do only one. I'm gonna go with vegetables first. Well, let's see. I hope we get some vegetables we can plant in summer <laughs> or else we, um, we're we not going to get very far. Okay, let's see. We have carrots, bell peppers and mushrooms. Um, these in fall and spring, summer and fall and spring. Okay, so we're going to uh, plant some bell peppers. Hi, Moon. Oh, that's so sad. You have to be outside. Okay, so, weed or water plants 10 times. Okay, we don't have to do anything else. Um, let's go inside. Uh, now that we're inside and we can't really do anything because there's nothing in our house, we're gonna start uh, cleaning up a little bit. So just imagine that this is not me cleaning, but Macy. <laughs> we're gonna start by scrubbing this off the floor. We're gonna remove some of the spider webs as well. Before we buy anything for the home, I want to go into um, the town. So we're gonna travel. So we're gonna go to the Hanford pub and shops. This is a build that I downloaded. Get it? Oh, this is it. 
English Pub and Shops by Blonde Straub. I've been wanting to start this legacy for so long, but school just got in the way and it got really busy. I do finally have um, a diploma I've been working very hard on, so that's really nice. I'm very happy about it. My boyfriend and I are actually going out for dinner this week to celebrate. Just a little quick little uh, peek into my life. Let's order some food. Oh, that looks so delicious. <laughs> I'm actually so in the mood for some meat pie right now. Let's get to know him a little bit. Maybe he is single and maybe he loves the outdoors. Um, let's small talk. Oh, what is this? Is that like an impression? Open profile. <laughs> Perceived as basic looking. Macy Bloom thinks Grady is basic looking. Why? He's handsome. Basic? Macy, don't be mean. Well, you know, everybody has their preferences. Grady Bird shows signs of the lover personality archetype. Lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure and are very passionate. Nonetheless, with their desire to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. Oh, oh, he's looking angry, but this is Stephen Collins. This is Corinne Collins' oldest uh, son. Let's introduce ourselves. He loves the adults. <laughs> as if I didn't know, as if I didn't make him. I wanted him to be a potential love interest, but I don't know if they are meant to be and I don't want to micromanage Macy's life. I want her to make her own choices. And I also want you to have the opportunity to make a potential love interest for Macy if you want to, of course. The only thing that is, but other than that, you can go all out <laughs> with your imagination. So if you want to, you can create a potential spouse for Macy. And I'll put the hashtag in screen right now that you have to put in the bio so I can see your creations. And then I'll just pick a few of the sims and I put them in the game to see who we come across and who is destined to be with Macy. It doesn't matter what their what their sex is, it doesn't matter where they're from, doesn't matter what they look like. If you want to give them a whole backstory, that I, I would love to read that. I sincerely would be reading it. But if you simply want to just make a sim and share it with me, then that's really even more than I could ask for. We can ask him about his career. Macy has learned that Steven is an able tinkerer at Handy Handers. Okay, so he's a handyman. It's already very late. It's 10 p.m. But we are gonna go home. Let's brush our teeth before we go to bed. So this is the end of the first day. I think I'm gonna go for one other day and then we'll end the episode there. We brushed our teeth and we're gonna go nap until we are as close to fully rested as we can get. Macy Bloom for work. Oops. Um, we're gonna, you know what, we're gonna go to work. Let's eat some mushrooms before we go to work because I don't want to send her to work with an empty stomach. Henford on Bagley is one of my all time favorite worlds. Look at it. It is so gorgeous. This is such a pretty screenshot as well. Let's take a screenshot. That's pretty. So cute. Yeah, she's going to work. <gasps> I want to see her outfit. No, she's gone already. <laughs> I wanted to see her outfit. All right, so let's... Mm, yeah, we're gonna meet some co-workers first. Oh. The greenhouse nursery at Macy's job is a little too nurturing. The new sprouts have quickly grown out of control and taken over the space. How does she handle these rampant plants? Hack them back into submission or toss more fertilizer onto the forest? Hack them back, more fertilizer. Um, you know, for plants, for other plants to grow, 
I think we're gonna have to hack some back. I hope that's a good choice. Oh no, it's a loss. Macy began hacking back the overgrowth with zeal, but maybe too much of it. She hacked so far down into the overgrowth that she damaged many of the plants beyond repair. The nursery may have been overgrown, but Macy caused it to die. Her boss decided to make Macy clear out and replant the entire nursery as punishment. Well, oh, that, is so, that is such a bummer. I really thought we made the good choice, but we didn't. We made 140, that's so much. Maybe we can um, purchase seeds. Some basil, we have parsley, and we have some more bell peppers. And we can save the giant crops for later. And we are once again hungry. And we do not have any food with us right now. But we do have 250. 41 simoleons. Let's see if we can eat at least something. More choices. Um, we can cook Halo Halo. It's a little rainbow all in a single dish. This tasty mix of flavors is a Filipino summertime treat. So let's take a quick nap and then we can do some fishing again to get some money and get our fishing skill up. Do we not have to water these? We do need, still need to water them. Oops. <laughs> well, let's go and do that. Well done, Maisie. We're gonna have some happy plants. <laughs> and we almost finished some of the tasks. Wait, maybe we can find some more plants, like right here somewhere, or some mushrooms. This is a wild choco berry. This fruit tastes just like chocolate. Whoa, finally a healthy alternative to chocolate. Well, we will have to harvest these. Mm. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing. Oh, there she is. Good. Oh, this is also super pretty. We reached level 4. Macy can now catch catfish and tilapia from fishing spots where they are found. With a steadier hand and sharp eye, Macy will have a better chance of breeding in treasure while fishing. Macy can now catch princess parrotfish. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Let's plant the shoker berries and then go to bed. Or <laughs> go to the couch. You can do it, honey. And then we can also check off the, this one, the weed of water plants 10 times. Water them. You can do it nine and 10. And we did that in only two days. <laughs> Achieve level four of the gardening skill, which we are only one level behind and then evolve five different plants. And now we are going to take a nap. Okay, after we've finished eating this, we can go and take a shower. And then I think we're gonna go and try to catch a scout plan berry. Oh, she's wearing her outfit. That's so adorable. They grew really fast. I think we have to fertilize them for them to grow into perfect plants. So I'm not 100% sure. Wait, we can check. <laughs> the evolve and direction is unlocked by keeping plants weed free and providing them with plenty of water. Using better fertilizer will help to unlock the interaction faster. All right. Well, let's see if we let's see if that does anything. It doesn't really, at least not yet. On to Willow Creek. Okay, so this is a uh, haunted log, but we don't have to do anything there. We are going to go to this tree over here. I'm sure many of you know the drill. We just have to view this tree a bunch of times until we unlock uh, some special interactions. Nurture it. See, there is a hole and there we go and... Okay, so hi everyone. For me, it has been like um, 24 hours since uh, the last recording, but for you, it 
not even a second. So I discovered that this is the wrong location. You know what, we can still try to um, get to Sylvan Glade and fish a cow plant berry there because I really thought that you could get it there but um, I was watching the Sims and Bloom challenge from Tasca Bez. Uh, she's so fun to watch, I love all of her videos <laughs> but I wanted to know where she got her cow plant berry and she got it in Oasis Spring but I don't know if that is the only location so we're gonna try to find it here and if we don't we'll just go over to Oasis Springs. Maisie delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped into a shallow stream. Follow downstream or follow upstream? Well we have to go to the water and not where the water is coming from at least I think. So we are gonna go downstream. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate at a sewer main, Macy is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously. Let's enter the mist. Travel to the glade, finally. Okay, would you like to send Macy to Sylvan Lake? Yes, I would. The light here is so pretty as well. Look at her glowing. The music in Sylvan Glade is so beautiful. <gasps> Look, wait. So, we actually have fairies in The Sims. Look, that's an actual fairy in the game. You can see the wings right here and the little feet. If we are not going to get fairies this year, I will cry. I really will. It's all, it's the only supernatural life state that I still want in a game. I don't care for zombies. <laughs> Where is this? Very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. So I chose to do this so because um, I thought it would be funny. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Alright, that's scary. <laughs> but I think it would be interesting and... You know what, if we don't want to rush into things, then we can just ignore this and after seven days um, it will just be over and we won't get the money. And that's not a very big deal, I think. So let's see what we get. Macy seems unrecognizable shapes moving beneath the surface of the water. This looks like an excellent spot for a fisherman of Macy's caliber to try their luck with some difficult catches. Okay. But Maisie has to be really bad. Go on. Okay, we're gonna give her some privacy. <laughs> what is here? Some mushrooms are growing. Is there any plant we can gather? No. Alright. Well, then we're gonna go and start fishing. Maisie got a new buff. Married for money. From trying to get inheritance money. Macy accepted the offer of a giant inheritance over the phone, but now she has only seven days to get married to satisfy the hidden conditions of the reward. Why does this always seem to happen to her? <laughs> we can also look for frogs so we can sell them. Okay, so we aren't really getting very lucky here, so I think we will have to go to Oasis Springs. But we'll save that for the second episode. It's just not meant to be for this episode, I think. A dirt server frog. So we caught quite a lot of fish. Let's go home. Maybe we can add a bed. I'm not sure though if we have enough money for that. But I'm gonna do a custom content bed for now uh, let's make it a little bit cuter oh these swatches are so adorable i'm gonna go with yellow 
and make the bed white. I think that's quite good. Let's also get a wall light over there. Just like that. That's quite cute. So she can sleep a bit better. So this was the first episode of the Sims and Bloom Legacy Challenge. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked the video, please comment down below, give it a like, and thank you for watching.